Your Health, where we explore the latest in health across the country. I'm Erica Cardenas. Today we're here at Uptown Farmers Market to talk about the benefits of shopping at markets like these. But before we get started, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. Why the food you buy at farmers markets can be healthier. And a place where seniors can get quality, individualized care. Plus, help for your breathing issues after having COVID. All that and more on today's show. We're here at the Uptown Farmers Market and joining me now is nutritionist Rachel Manley to talk about the health benefits of shopping here. Welcome Rachel, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having us. First off, tell us about the Uptown Farmers Market. Of course, so the Uptown Farmers Market, we're a wonderful market that's located over in Phoenix, Arizona and we have a Wednesday and a Saturday market. The Wednesday market runs from about October till April or May, depending on the weather. It does get hot in Arizona. And then the Saturday market runs year round. So what type of food and products and vendors can you find out here? So I like to say it's a one-stop shop because you pretty much can find everything you need here from clothes to something, maybe a gift for, I don't know, your, your significant other. And then we also have tons of produce vendors, mushrooms, honey. So pretty much you can always come here instead of going to the grocery store because you can find everything. So Rachel, the big question is what are the health benefits of shopping at a farmer's market? So in my opinion, what I would say the health benefits are that we have pretty much a vendor that sells every type of dietary restriction. So if you're gluten free, if you're vegan or vegetarian like myself, we have a vendor for you that caters to your needs. And another great selling point that we have is pretty much everything was picked locally and pretty much the morning before or the day before as well. So you're getting quality produce that wasn't picked, you know, three months ago and shipped up to Arizona. It literally was picked in our backyard. So we know the cost of food is going up. So is our farmer markets a more economical way to go? So we were kind of similar to the grocery stores. Some of the vendors are not able to get items. I know, for example, the mason jars. The vendors had a real issue getting that. Costs went up through the roof. But what's nice about the farmer's market is because it's mostly mom and pop shops and small businesses, they will try their hardest to keep costs down and they know their customers and they really work with you. So some of the vendors unfortunately did have to raise costs, but it's no different than you'd see in a grocery store. And personally, I think just based off my interviewing the vendors and, and stuff like that, I do see that they really, really put time and thought and some of them actually absorb the cost because they wanted to keep the price consistent for their customers. Because we do care about our customers, it's like our family. Now Rachel, you really are building a community here, so coming out to the farm farmer's market can really be a healthy, fun family outing, right? Yes, I 110% agree with that because our Wednesday market, I feel a lot of the moms come out during the week and it's a lot of dogs and kiddos, which is so fun to see. And then during Saturday market, because most people are off of work, the entire family comes down. Out of town, people are brought in because it really is like a family. The customers feel like this is their home, their farm, their farmer's market. They feel such a connection, which is wonderful. So Rachel, any final advice, last tips on shopping at farmer's markets? A great tip, come hungry and with a definite open mind. And I personally, if you have the time, recommend walking around all the different aisles up and down because we do spread people out. It's not just one category in one area. Walk up and down, give yourself time and leisure to really talk to the vendors because it really is. They started these business out of passion. And you can always bring a bag if that, if you have the opportunity to, but we do have vendors who sell baskets and bags too. So pretty much we have everything here. Have everything one stop here. shop. Exactly. <laughs> Rachel, thank you so much for being with us. If you'd like more information on shopping at the farmer's markets, just head over to their website. Whether it's knee pain, migraines, or anxiety, the doctors at Anodyne Pain and Wellness Solutions take the time to understand your health journey to create a roadmap for overall healing. Hi, I'm Susie from Anodyne of Las Vegas. I'm a co-owner of this integrated practice. We have medical care and chiropractic care. We also have some natural healing therapies, such as red light therapy, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. We've got some amazing chiropractors. Our uh, medical doctor helps treat joint pain. Um, we don't prescribe pills or encourage surgery. Our athletes love it here too because they get IV hydration. They get to cool the inflammation in their body with red light and hyperbaric. Um, we also help patients with their sexual wellness needs. Anodyne is unique because we're an integrated clinic. We're a one-stop shop. Patients come here and they get to um, 
experience different types of treatments and they don't have to run across town looking for you know this type of, of uh, practitioner that type of practitioner we help them here it all starts with our first initial exam we go over thoroughly of what their complaint area is and in general health and how the general health has com complicated the complaint area we don't just treat for the one place we treat each person as a whole. Pain from uh, disc injuries, pain from muscle injuries, pain from ligamentous connective tissue injuries. Uh, basically, that's what we do. There's a group of friends of mine, ladies, that we all go to the gym together. And one of them uh, was, is quite sick. She recovered from cancer. And she started talking about this red light therapy. It's basically you climb into, it looks like a sunbed. You know, it's comfortable, it's, it's very soothing. I feel this, it kind of just gives me a little energy. I just find it's very easy, very convenient, and it's 15 minutes of my time. We want to help patients live the best life they can. And with these natural healing therapies and the different modalities, our providers collaborate on a patient to be able to get to the root cause of their pain and prescribe the best customized treatment for the patients. I've done a few. Um, I've done the, the IV. Um, rehydration, it, it, was, it was awesome, you know, we live in the desert, I don't drink enough water. You feel rejuvenated afterwards. The red light therapy, 15 minutes, you know, I can come down here on my lunch. Um, you know, I, it really, I feel helps with um, some inflammation. I've got, you know, the beginnings of some arthritis and it's, um, it's kind of your one-stop shop down here. I've, you know, talked to them a little bit about everything and so I'm slowly working my way around. When their family and friends come and tell us, so-and-so said to come see, you know, Dr. Uh, Sadegi or Dr. Moran, Dr. Lukens, Tammy, our physician assistant. And that is the best feedback we can get. When they want to share the care that we provide, the best feeling in the world. Don't go away. We have more Your Health coming up from the Uptown Farmer's Market. and cause uncomfortable symptoms, but there is a way to get rid of them. The team at San Diego Varicose Vein Treatment Center show us how. San Diego Varicose Vein Treatment Center, uh, we take care of all various uh, needs of patients for management of their venous insufficiency. People who come here are mainly concerned about symptoms that brings them on or issues related to cosmetic uh, concern that uh, we can always take care of. I'm a, a cardiologist, I'm an interventional cardiologist. I have uh, significant training in uh, heart and vascular um, and helping my patients in those front. Venous insufficiency is specifically uh, pathology in the vein walls, uh, mainly the leg veins, where uh, they become dilated, the size gets sort of plumbed, and uh, blood uh, basically rushes back into the legs where it doesn't need to be. Venous insufficiency shows itself in several uh, different ways, specifically achiness, pain, pressure, tingling, burning, heaviness that happens uh, mainly in the calf and in the uh, ankle region, uh, sometimes spasm, sometimes restlessness. I was just not feeling very well and um, heavy legs, I, you know, I noticed how my legs looked and I haven't worn shorts in years. A lot of uh, throbbing in my legs, a lot of sw uh, swelling, inflammation, and I stopped power walking and I just didn't feel good. The quality of life that I wanted, that I expect, I wasn't having. In years past, we used to do vein stripping, but now with the advancement of uh, technology and so much, uh, so many catheter-based treatments, we can uh, treat our patients much more uh, quickly, much more uh, comfortably with less downtime. The varicose veins are depicted here, and we have the ability to uh, effectively removing them. It's a great cosmetic result. Pa patients love the result invariably. We have a, 
uh, great satisfaction by really comfortably getting this out and having the best results possible for our patients. It's been a huge impact in my life to, to feel better, to be able to power walk again, to not have the swelling, the itchiness, the redness, the complications and sleeping much better and uh, overall I'm just feeling like I used to feel when I was a lot younger and I'm so grateful for this place. It's a privilege to take care of our patients. If somebody has some issue that bothers them and I can help them, I, I mean, can you imagine something better than that? Great. So that's our plan. It's just, it comes from the heart and I, I love it. activities can create stressful situations for some kids and the counselors at Lifeline PCS are here to support you with any concerns you may have. Adults will notice that their child or teen is, is having issues if they are struggling with overarching themes of communication or not being aware. There are changes that go on with um, kids usually due to hormonal changes. Um, those are normal and natural, but some are excessive or sudden. They will notice changes in sleep and appetite, changes in communication styles towards yourself, authority figures or others, maybe even social isolation rather than engagement. Additionally, watch for negative behaviors like excessive anger or unexpected weeping. Take threats of suicide and self-harm very seriously. Self-harm and suicidality are not attention-seeking, they're connection-seeking. They may not have the words to express themselves. It is important to provide your child or teen with someone they can trust, like family, friends, teachers, and counselors to reassure them that it is okay to bring up problems or emotions that may be bothering them. Speaking to a provider can help guide you in determining signs and differences. Social media is a double-edged sword. If used in moderation as a means of communication, entertainment, or to spread awareness, it's great. However, it, it can be negatively impacting on mental health because of a variety of reasons, um, like bullying or social comparisons or um, physical appearance, um, where advertising is involved, where it can, it can decrease self-esteem. Research supports social media being an associated factor to the increase of anxiety and eating disorders along with depression. Social media can have a heavy influence whether it is positive or negative, so it is important to understand how it is impacting you, your household, and your relationships. The COVID-19 pandemic is a key factor to the rise of substance abuse and other various addictions. Working in the mental health field, we have seen a rise in the increase of various addictions, emotional and physical abuse. Before the pandemic, many have already been struggling with addictions and we have seen an increase due to social distancing, lack of support, and other added stressors, including the rise in homelessness and poverty. Counseling is a great tool because it gives people that validation, it gives people that support system, it gives people the ability to recognize their needs for growth and change and then be able to grow and change, whereas they might not have that on their own. For more information, please go to our website or call and we would be glad to help. Stick around, we have more Your Health coming up from Uptown Farmers Market. consequences of driving impaired and the Portsmouth Prevention Coalition is hoping to bring the reality of this to the community with its simulated experience. I'm Joan Warren, the director of the Portsmouth Prevention Coalition. Today we are here with the Portsmouth Police Department training on the use of the Sydney golf cart. SYDNEY stands for Simulated Impaired Driving Experience. Together with the Portsmouth Prevention Coalition and the Newport County Prevention Coalition, we were able to fund 
the, the Sydney golf cart. Drunk driving affects our community in so many negative ways. Portsmouth in particular has seen quite a bit of, of DUIs. So the whole community is at risk. So we take this very seriously. Portsmouth police are wonderful when it comes to monitoring our streets. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Richard Ruist. I'm with the uh, Portsmouth Police Department and we're out here today to train on the Sydney. Uh, we have our team out here of uh, five other officers and myself, Joan from the Prevention Coalition, and uh, we're training on how the machine works and how it can simulate impaired driving, especially for uh, our youth, and that's gonna be our target audience. Definitely gives them a hands-on experience and there's an educational opponent to it. It's not just that you're driving a go-kart. Um, it's going to be part of an educational program where uh, you're talking about uh, drunk and impaired driving and better choices. That's really what it is, is about better choices before they get behind the wheel and before something happens. Hopefully this experience will give them the deterrent not to do it. When you switch it into impaired driving, it gives you a delayed response, which you're gonna have naturally, you're gonna have delayed braking. So it simulates that type of uh, action if you were impaired driving a motor vehicle. In the winter months, we'll probably have it indoors at some events. Obviously, it's better outside because you definitely have more space, but uh, inside, as long as we have uh, safe parameters. You know, we wanna take it out before proms and graduation um, and make sure that it's utilized in the best possible manner. We have worked very closely with the Portsmouth Police Department. They have been very supportive. It's just the overall support and knowing that uh, if we need something, and as long as we ask, they'll try to accommodate, and I think they feel the same way. I'm gonna actually maybe drive it. If you wanna get a little bit of that, I won't swear. <laughs>so I think this is a great tool. It's going to really help the, the young people realize the dangers of impaired driving and drunk driving. We want to make sure that young people in our community make good decisions and stay away from drugs, alcohol, and tobacco and make this a lifelong decision. I thought it was doing so well. Centerwell, they provide quality, senior-focused care for the community. Today we're opening our clinic here in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, we're calling it The Groves. It's a senior-focused primary care clinic that really delivers on the promise to spend extra time with our patients, getting to knowing them, helping them live healthier, happier lives, and, and, and most importantly, keeping them out of the hospital. Cinderwell Senior Primary Care provides access to the community in a way that is maybe a little bit different than their normal providers. When they come to see us, they're going to spend approximately 40 minutes with the provider themselves. They'll also interact with the entire care team. This could be anybody from nurses that are care coordinators, social workers, behavioral health specialists, referral coordinators, all of the interactions they need to do with the healthcare system that could be challenging and labor intensive at times. We try to simplify that, streamline it, make it easier for our seniors to gain the care they need to get. So the patients can find us online. They can visit our website at centerwellprimarycare.com. We would love to see you here at our big beautiful clinic here in, here in Mesa, Arizona. We have more Your Health coming up from the Uptown Farmer's Market. At True Health, they're helping patients who suffered from COVID-19 regain their health one breath at a time. If you or your loved one are struggling with chronic lung conditions from post-COVID residual breathing problems, you may be a great candidate for our lung rejuvenation therapy. A lot of our patients who come to see us have COPD, they have emphysema, they have asthma, they have these chronic lung issues. As you know, with any type of chronic lung condition, it only gets worse with time, and we know that. And over time, the function of the lungs will decrease with about a 1% per month if we don't do anything about this. So anyone who is suffering with this, who are on medications, they're on inhalers, they're even on oxygen, what we want to do is stop the damage and allow the body to heal and regenerate. 
So currently what we're able to do is actually harvest these naturally healing cells in our body. In doing so, we're able to stop the damage from getting worse so we can overcome the trouble breathing, the need for oxygen, and all these medications that keep piling up and reverse these symptoms that these patients are struggling with post-COVID. So currently, patients that have chronic lung conditions, all they have is medications, steroids, and then when that doesn't work, they have to use oxygen. And then when that fails, well, then there is physical therapy for lungs. And when that fails, unfortunately, if there is a part of the lung that is so severely damaged, they have to have surgery to get rid of that part. So that's all that's available. It's medications, it's masking the symptoms. There is nothing out there that is designed to repair the body and allow it to heal. Left untreated, we know that lung condition will just continue to decline the lung function over time. Post this therapy, what we're able to see is that patients will actually have an improved lung function with time. So the remarkable part about this therapy is that we have seen patients who have seen an improvement as soon as one week. The soonest and the fastest results that one of our patients experienced was actually immediately after the procedure. So they were able to have improved energy, they no longer needed their inhaler, and again, when we checked up on them a week later, they no longer needed their oxygen, they had more energy, it can happen that fast. The procedure is a simple outpatient procedure. Our patients are completely awake for the whole procedure and are able to come and receive the therapy and go home within a few hours. So if you are somebody who suffers with chronic lung conditions, who have had COVID and now your lung condition has become significantly worsened and now you're dealing with these residual breathing problems, we really wanna see you and we're able to offer you this free screening where it'll tell us exactly how progressed this damage is and whether we can help you or not. So if you are someone who is struggling with this, please give us a call. We can help you. All you have to do, give us a call. We want to thank everyone here at Uptown Farmers Market for having us out today. We had a great time and thank you for joining us on your help. We hope you have a very happy and healthy day. I'm Erica Cardenas. See you next time.